This is part two of a two-part presentation that explores the role of software licensing as it relates to SaaS applications. This second part explains how the InishTech licensing service for Windows Azure applications works. Windows Azure is Microsoft's software development platform for the cloud. A key requirement for any cloud application is the ability to control and manage who gets to use it, what exactly they get to use, how they use it, and what the application provider gets in return. The way to address these requirements is through licensing, preferably with an easy to use licensing platform that can connect to the Azure application and do what it needs to do with a minimum of fuss. As an ISV looking to build a cloud application, you may be a new company starting from scratch with nothing more than a blank sheet of paper and a big idea. Lucky you. For the rest of the software world, the chances are that you have an established software business and pre-existing applications that you are thinking of porting to or rebuilding for the cloud. If that's the case, then the following thought process might be somewhat familiar. There are two reasons the ISV would want to move to a SaaS model. The first is simple economics. Cloud computing saves money. And the second is opportunity. Cloud computing opens up new businesses in new markets. So how does your development team approach this transition from packaged application vendor to software service provider? The tactical solution would be to deploy the self-same application unaltered in the cloud. Now you have single instance, single tenant software for each of your customers, but because it's on Azure, you don't need to worry about things like servers and scalability and storage. You think it's solved. But this is not an economic model. Creating a separate instance for every tenant removes a key cost saving pillar, which made the cloud attractive to begin with. And quite quickly, this design becomes difficult to manage. What you really want to be doing is re-architecting your software to be truly multi-tenant by having a common code base that can support all of your customers. Resources are shared and adding more instances benefits all of your customers equally. This is a scalable economic model for SaaS. But now you have a one size fits all solution. You've created a new, more basic problem, which is how do you offer different versions of yourself of your service, which support different subsets of features? In other words, how do you differentiate and provide your customers with variety and choice? Again, the tactical solution would be to compile different versions of your software, one for each distinct service edition that support different subsets of features. During registration, your tenants could select from the basic, standard and professional editions of the application. But straight away, you can see the problem with this approach. You've used an engineering solution to solve a configuration and packaging problem. So what do you do? What you need is the ability to provision different editions of your SaaS application dynamically. This gives you true multi-tenant SaaS in the cloud coupled with the ability to offer any number of packages or additions of the application, independent of the engineering team. The way this is done is through licensing. It's a core aspect of what is enabled when sophisticated licensing is introduced. What licensing actually does is separate out the limitations and entitlements to an application from the application itself. This allows the engineering team to build a product, but allows the product management team to link limitations and entitlements to features and bundles, thereby facilitating the creation of a distinct service additions that are marketed and promoted to your customers. This separation also enables another vital aspect in the effective monetization of your cloud business, that of being able to link usage to entitlement through to payment. Closing the loop on this is vital for your SaaS application, which will most likely come with a consumption-based payment model that needs to be enforced. So let's have a look at how it works. As we said before, there are two teams of people that are important when enabling licensing for your Azure application, your engineering team and your product management team. The first step 
is that they agree between themselves which application features are flagged as distinct for the purposes of licensing and SKU definition. In other words, which features will define the products in question. Once agreed, the engineers will then decorate the application with simple code attributes that featureize it using the InishTech Azure SaaS SDK. What they are doing is preparing the application to be license ready for the InishTech service. And as you can see from the code snippets provided, this is neither a lengthy nor a complex task. On the contrary, it is really simple. At the same time, the product manager can start to enter feature information into the SLP Online portal. The SLP Online portal is the web service that the ISV uses to manage their products, SKUs and licenses. A snapshot of the portal UI is provided here for context. When the feature information has been entered, the product manager can start to define license SKUs. These are the distinct packages or additions of the software based on feature sets, entitlements and limitations and are created within the portal as templates from which license keys are issued. We've previously highlighted the central importance of agile software packaging, this ability to define license SKUs dynamically independent of the product development process. And the diagram here illustrates this quite well. Firstly, you can see the distinction between the engineering task and the product management task. The engineering team focuses on a single deliverable which contains features and functions. The product managers, on the other hand, can create any number of additions of the SaaS service based on several parameters, including features, time, etc. etc. The other point here is the simplicity with which you can move tenants between SKUs whether you're converting a new customer or if you're upgrading an existing customer. All they need is a new activation key. Now let's look at the activation piece. When your application is ready, it's time to go live. Your sales team, online shop or channel partner identifies and onboards a new customer for the service. And as part of that process, a license key is requested, generated and distributed by the appropriate mechanism. The customer will then redeem the activation key in the application, which will in turn call on the InishTech SAS SDK runtime to activate that license key against the portal, thereby validating the key and enabling the tenant to get started. It's important to note that this process steps four through seven for activating tenants to live can not only be automated through the use of web service APIs, but it can also be executed in its entirety in a matter of seconds. The application then receives a license blob which is installed and stored to Azure Blob Storage. At runtime, the application uses the InishTech SaaS SDK to load licenses and to make entitlement decisions for the customer. The InishTech service, as described, consists of three components the InishTech SaaS SDK, the SLP Online Portal, and the SLP Runtime. They combine to form the most comprehensive, advanced solution for licensing and monetization of your Azure applications. They enable you to manage your tenant entitlements, develop service packages based on demand, adopt diverse business models, and learn more about your customers, leading to benefits including a reduction in cost, faster time to market, and the ability to drive new revenue. For more information, please visit us at inishtech.com.